hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be talking about the different type of utilities we have in the databricks so if you talk about the utilities first of all the question is like why we use these utilities in the databricks so the answer is it will help you to achieve different type of task in a single notebook like you can run or you can work with different file systems right you can install libraries you can read secrets you can work with the parameter things right so it will it will give you a flexibility to work with a different type of task in a single notebook now let's talk about what all different uh, utilities we have in the databricks so the first utility is a file system utility okay so the file system utility will allow you to access the databricks file system it will make it easier to use the databricks as a file system now the second utility is known as notebook utility or notebook workflow utility you can say this will allow you to chain together different notebooks and act on their results so what i mean by chain together you can call one notebook from another notebook like a parent and child relationship right so in this way you can create a chain of notebook right the first notebook will call second and then second will call third and the third will call four fourth or you can call you can call five notebooks in a single notebook so it's up to you now the third utility is known as widget utility so if i talk about widget utility it will help you to parameterize few hard coded things in your in your uh, notebook right so this will give you the flexibility to create uh, parameterization within the notebook now the fourth one is secrets utility so this utility will allow you to store and access sensitive credential information without making them visible in the notebook okay so if you wanted to use some secrets in the notebook right you don't have to uh, directly place their uh, place those secrets in the notebook you can use this secret util utility it will help you to hide those sensitive informations now there is one more utility which is known as library utility it will allow you to install python libraries right to uh, create an environment scoped with a uh, notebook session you can say now apart i mean we, we talked about this five utilities right but apart from these five utilities we have few more utilities present in the databricks so we'll take we'll uh, we'll take a look to those utilities as well so let me switch over to my databricks uh, uh, page okay and if you see here i have written my first command as a databricks help what it will give uh, sorry db utils help so what it will give you it will provides all the utilities name which are present in the databricks this is known as db databricks utility utilities okay and then help so if you see here there is one uti utility which is called credentials there is few more like data fs known as file system as i said jobs library metadata notebook preview secrets and widgets right so out of this uh, i think uh, yeah these are 10 out of these 10 i talked about the five utilities which are the most important ones right there are few which are in the purview phase right now i mean which are not uh, completely you can say stable right so we will take we'll take a look at the ones which are really important so the uh, let me show you like first of all like how you can understand these utilities and how you can use the methods which are present in these uh, utilities okay so let's say you wanted to understand about the fs utility the file system uti utility so you can write db utils fs dot help and this will give you some description some information related to this file system utility now as you can see it provides you the utility for working with the file system most, me most methods in the package can take either a dbfs path right the file path or something right so and, and here you can see the list of methods which are present in this particular particular utility now let's say you wanted to get more information related to this 
uh, functions so what you can do you can copy the same command and let's say you wanted to get more information on this mv move right so you can write it like this and run it so if you see here we'll get more information related to this function it will help you to move a file or a directory possibly across the file system right and it will also give you an example with the parameters which are required for this particular method in the same way if you wanted to take a look for other uh, utilities as well then what you can do you can use the same thing right you can use dbutil dot notebook dot help make it run it so if you run it you can see in this notebook utility we have two methods now the first one is exit and the other one is run now you wanted to get more information for the run what you can do again you can use the same way you can just copy this run command and put it inside the double quotes and run it so it will give you the complete information related to these methods okay so this is how you can get some information related to the utilities you can get an idea how they actually works uh, yeah so that's it for this video i'll be creating few more videos related to these utilities how we can work with the file utility how we can work with a notebook okay so thank you thanks a lot